Hello YouTube, welcome back. This is part 12 of recreating the Sutton Hoo cooking chain. So in this episode we are going to be riveting the swivel into place. So if you remember that is placed at the top of the chain and it is riveted to the braided element. So here is the chain so far with all the elements which we have made up to this point. And the swivel, as you remember, will just fit onto this tenon here. Now, in order to get it to fit properly, I'm going to file a shoulder onto the base of the tenon. I could have forged it in when I first made it. Uh, I could equally have reheated this and forged it. Um, however, to minimise any damage or distortion to the braid itself, I decided to actually file this into place. So, with the shoulder filed in, this sits quite nice and square now, so we will cut down the tenon. Now it is 10mm diameter, so the length we will cut it down to will be 2.5 times the diameter of the material, so 25mm. I'm just going to go in there with an angle grinder to do this. Pretty sparks. So with that done, I will use the pick on the anvil as a support for the chain and it'll save me having to lug the whole weight of the thing around. Uh, this just makes it a bit easier for me to handle it at this length. And I will just stick the tenon in the fire to heat up. And I'll get a bit of heat in the shoulder as well. I'll dress it down a bit. So then head off to the vise. Now I'm having to stick this in at an angle because of the shape of the object. Place the swivel in place and start peening. So because the angle you can see it's starting to go off to one side here. So I will come in from the other side and straighten it up. Uh, just keep an eye on which way it's distorting towards and hit it from the opposite side and you'll see that that will make it come down nice and straight. So I think this is possibly one of my first uses of fast forwards on one of my videos. It's not a technique I'm particularly enamoured with, but I would have made a very boring video otherwise, so there we go. So as you can see I've let it go quite cold to do this. Ah, that is to planish it and get a nice smooth effect. I am Still going to take a second heat in order to take it a bit further down. Now, to do this, I am just raking coals onto the part I want to heat up rather than all of it. And I've got a reasonably low fire as well, uh, so it doesn't overheat. So then back into the vise. And using a smaller hammer this time, I am just going to finish smoothing it, finish shaping it, and get it to where I want it to be. And again, I am bleeding into a dark heat at the moment. And once all that's done, I will take a caulking chisel, uh, which is specifically made for rivet heads. I will just dress down the underside of this peened head. Uh, and that just smartens it up and it takes any sharp edges off. So at that stage I will get a dull red heat in this. And I will stick it back into the vise as you can see it is quite a dull heat. You can get it hotter than that if you like. Uh, I like to do it quite cool. And then just start wiggling your swivel around. Uh, and what that will do is it will loosen it up and just allow it to spin freely. Uh, as the hot metal tends to wear down quicker than cool metal, that's the reason we preheated it. 
Uh, and then quench it off and make sure that you wiggle it as you quench it off, otherwise the metal will shrink and seize up again. So just keep wobbling that around. And there you have it, riveted into place. So rivets come out quite nice. This is another step towards finishing the chain. Next week should be the last construction video. And then I will likely do a video on cleaning up and finishing. I'm still reasonably happy with how this is coming out. All I need now is a feasting hall, which is tall enough to hang the blessed thing from. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you enjoy these videos and feel that you are learning from them, uh, please consider donating on Patreon. Here is my current list of Patreon donors. I think I have uh, 54 or 55 at the moment. So thank you very much, chaps. Uh, every penny you can give does help quite a lot in supporting the creation of these videos. So thanks a lot, guys. And I will see you all on the next one next week.